of projects we need to do in our parks. Our parks are getting to the point where we are having a difficult keeping difficult option keeping them available open because uh, we have some dam issues, some levee issues. We have old antiquated uh, uh, outhouses that are being forced by the EPA to upgrade, and those are dollars that are going to be a difficult task to. Uh, to approach with in a difficult budget year. My concern is, and this was asked by the papers, where do you go? Do you start closing your park system if you can't keep them avail up and going? So what we're doing is not been, we, we've slowed the process down in committee, understanding the, the, the process of you know, you know, what can we do <coughs> to look at all the lands in the state of Ohio that the state of Ohio, you the people of the state own. And how do we uh, look at, and I'm throwing my former park director's hat on there. And, and, and the bill that has been presented before my committee is going to change. Because we have, in the hearings, and we went to hearings all the way to 2.30 in the morning, listening to many, many individuals, concerns from the Sierra Club to other organizations out there. And we found out in the process uh, of the drilling process, is, you know, it, we locked in and we have a safe drilling process, but the drill on some of the state lands, we can't do it. Because there, there's deed restrictions on, on, on these <coughs> lands. So what I've done, I brought up an idea uh, as a former park director is uh, classifying your lands. Where you have deed restrictions or do dollars that are put from federal dollars that are in to help keep some of the properties going. So we're, we're reclassifying the lands and, and options, and you're really going to be limited to what you can do if we pass the bill to drill on state lands. But the issue right now is, where's those dollars going to go? Do they go back into the general fund where we can just spend them? No, we're looking at if we do and lease, lease the lands, we were to number one, uh, you have a leasing amount you could uh, uh, bring into the st state coffers and to a royalty rate. What we'd like to do, and, and we're reworking the, this, the bill, that all these dollars go into a trust. What would that trust do? Those would go back into the park system to, and, and, and kind of rejuvenate reju the park system. Not use them for operations of, you know, employees but to put the dollars back, a true trust where it cannot be robbed, where you can have the, these parks to be set aside again for another 100 years. My concern as a former park director is, and, and one of the things you have to look, this is nothing new in Ohio. Being a former park director, a park district director, wells have been drilled on township parks throughout Ohio, village parks, city parks, and county parks to help uh, keep those parks going. You're hearing in Cambridge, Ohio, I just talked down there, and they're doing the same thing because they know they have to think outside the box and how can we collect those re reserves under the ground and over a period of time bring those reserves up and then in the lease, then you reclaim the land back to the original state where you plug the well, take, take the pipe out, plug the well back, and. We did it called Senate Bill 165. And Senate Bill 165, two years ago, and I was part of that process, actually puts in play more inspectors in the state of Ohio. We did that, and we, we have taxed the industry to do that. Because we want to have more, greater inspectors. And how we set up the, the process of how you drill a well. And Ohio is now looked upon, because of its regulatory reform in, in oil and gas drilling, as one of the greatest states in Ohio and how it, it, it protects the environment. Because when we do it now, you drill well on air through your water tables, and you have 11 three quarter inch pipe that you go down through, through your water tables with air. No, no other, it's air. And they, they drill down and push the ground apart. And when it gets down through the water tables, then we, we put another casing down through there. Then another casing and cemented through the process to protect your water tables. So those are the things we did on Senate Bill 165 in the process. And I don't want to take up all the time, but 
I put a lot of time to understand this process, and you know, because I want to protect our waters, protect our parks, and be able to use some of those resources in a trust to keep those parks viable. I'm afraid if we get down the road, we're not going to have those dollars, and nothing's worse than we have to close a park. And what's that going to do to your economy in some of the places where the parks are uh, they're relying on that park being open? And do you put a tax on and say, okay, we're going to raise the fee to $30 per person? What that, what's that do to a family who's really trying to get by and wants to go out? You've you, you got to look at both sides of the whole, whole process.